I've spent a huge part of my life thinking about card magic. And the best thing that I think I've ever created, without question, is the Trojan deck. I think the Trojan deck isn't just the most amazing thing you can do with two decks of cards. I think it's the most amazing thing your audience can imagine being done with two decks of cards. And there is a difference. They shuffle a deck, you shuffle a deck, and every card matches. It is, in many ways, the ultimate card trick. Every card in this deck. What if I told you it could be done without any moves? What if I told you it could be done without a deck switch? What if I told you it could be done with a legitimately <laughs> shuffled pack by any spectator? Curious yet? You're about to watch exactly what you would see if you were sitting right there across from me. The Trojan deck can be done absolutely anywhere and it looks just like this. She believed in fate. He didn't. At least not until that night at the restaurant when they both learned everything happens for a reason. Now I'd like you to take this blue deck of cards, shuffle it up, and throughout the story just kind of keep them moving by shuffling them, giving them a cut. I'll shuffle this red deck of cards. Now our story takes place in 1977. There was this guy and he decided to go to dinner by himself, favorite restaurant. So he goes to the favorite restaurant parking lot and he finds that the parking lot is packed. He has to drive around three times before he finally finds somewhere to park. He eventually does. He goes inside and eats his dinner. Meanwhile, across town, there's a woman. She's decided to go out with friends. Now, she's called a taxi, but the taxi driver is running late. The reason he's running late is because he ordered a coffee, but the coffee's way too hot to drink. So he puts the coffee in the cup holder of his car and he waits for it to cool down. Meanwhile, across town, she's sitting in her parlor, checking her watch, smoothing the wrinkles out of her white wool dress. Finally, the taxi comes, she gets in, and off they go. Now, you've been shuffling up those cards. I want you to spread through those cards, and when you get a feeling on a card, I want you to take that card out without looking at it and just set it down. Great, now you don't know what that card is, and you don't know what that card is. Good, we're not gonna look at these cards now, we're gonna look at the end. So take that card and put it away. Sit on it, stick it in a pocket somewhere. It will be safe and keep shuffling. So the man is in the restaurant eating. Meanwhile, across town, the woman is speeding down the road in the back of the taxi. All of a sudden, the light changes from yellow to red. Taxi driver slams on the brakes. Coffee goes everywhere, all over her white wool dress. So she says, stop the car. Stop this, I have to get out, I have to fix this. She gets out and she goes into the first place that she can and that place is the restaurant. And as he's walking out, she's walking in and they physically run into each other. And he takes one look at her and he says, you're covered in coffee. You look like you could see a card trick. You see this guy, <laughs> he was a magician. He wasn't a professional magician, but he was a magician. So he did a card trick and that card trick turned into a date. And that date turned into a second date, and that second date turned into a marriage, and they spent their life together. Now, I want all of you to watch this. That cut is the last time I will change the order of these cards. I would like you to do the same thing. Set the cards there, face down, and give them a cut, and let everybody see you do it. You feel good about that or you want to cut them one more time? We're good. That's it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's start with mine, then we'll check yours. Can you see that these cards are not in order? You can see as well. They're not separated by color or numerical. They're pretty well shuffled. Yeah. Yeah. Would you square them up and put them face down in front of you? And now let's check your order as well. Yeah, I'd say pretty well mixed. Now, when I hear this story, the first thing that I think about is what if just one thing happened differently, right? Because I mean, think of it this way. What if the parking lot wasn't crowded? What if the coffee didn't spill? What if the coffee wasn't too hot? What if the light didn't change at exactly that moment? 
Well, then these two people don't meet. They don't fall in love. They don't get married. They don't have a son. And when that son is eight years old, his dad never shows him his first card trick. And if none of those things happen, I'm not here in this room before those cameras sharing this story with you. This is the true story. I swear to God, this is not a script. The true story of how my parents met. It was an amazing night, just like tonight. You shuffled those cards up. You watched me shuffle the cards up. And you all watched us each cut the deck, which meant we're all leading to the top card of this deck and the top card of this deck. Would you take that top card and turn it over? <laughs> but the thing I keep coming back to is that for me to even be here telling this story, every single thing had to fall exactly into place. Are you ready for this? Pick up your deck and deal with me. Every single card in this deck perfectly matches every single card and i do mean every single card that's the queen the seven the three the eight the ace the queen the five the two the nine the six the five all the way down check it out the king the nine the two the three every card in this deck matches. but i know what you're all thinking you're all thinking yeah but that's probably just luck <laughs> no, but there's one thing luck wouldn't explain. At the very beginning, when we were shuffling our decks, you took out a card that you felt something on, and I took out a card that I felt something on. Take those cards out now. You see, this part, this isn't luck. This part is fate. Mm -hmm.